Hi guys, um, welcome to this video. Um, now a lot of you would have already seen in the news today um, that today marks the, the passing um, of John McCrerick, probably the most recognisable uh, horse racing pundit that this country's ever seen. Now the reason this is relevant to me, I've never been a horse racing fan, but I think it's sort of quite significant the passing of this, uh, let's say icon of the sport and uh, really maybe represents the passing of an era of horse racing and of gambling in general. Now personally I wasn't a massive fan of McCrerick. Uh, I'm not here speaking ill of the dead, certainly the guy would have been one of these people who would rather be disliked than ignored. His character definitely went before him and, and particularly when he went on things like Big Brother and became sort of more widely known in the media as a whole rather than just within the horse racing circles, people very quickly drew an opinion of him uh, and that wasn't always positive. This guy was unapologetically misogynistic, he was unapologetically old school, he was a guy who committed his life uh, to horse racing and to gambling and was a known recovering alcoholic so he wasn't a guy who went out of his way to fit in, he wasn't a guy who went out of his way to be liked, but he would have much rather have been disliked than ignored entirely. So if I say anything negative about him, it's not something that you know he would ever have taken as a criticism. Not that he would ever even remotely have cared what someone like me has to say. But I think his passing has greater significance. Um, it obviously has a massive significance in the, the racing world, but I think also actually it does symbolise maybe the passing of something more significant in the world of gambling. Now John McCreary comes from a time when gambling was significantly less widespread. It was something that people really kind of either did or they didn't. There was much less recreational gambling. Most gambling back in the day was done, and certainly McCreary's day, was done inside of bookmakers and amongst people of a like mind. In the same, I, I'm not here to romanticise the old days of bookmakers, the old days of gambling, because it certainly wrecked a few homes back then, and it certainly caused people significant problems back then. But it was much more a niche, it was much less widespread than we get today, with bookies on every street corner, with online gambling, with fruit machines in every pub, and with a lot of in-play betting and sports betting becoming the norm rather than the exception. Back then, you would have had gambling addicts, and it would have caused people a problem. But it would also be a social occupation. People would have spent time in the bookmakers, chatting to each other. Yeah, they were, did all have a problem. These are people who you know, had an addiction, but they had a social addiction, and it was something maybe where they were supporting each other. There was a, a clique, there was you know, a culture and an interest surrounding this, and this is a time that McCreary came from. Now gambling has very much moved on and become much more a solitary activity. Even in the social spaces that were bookmakers, people tend to sit and stare at the screens of the FOBTs and actually in their own world. They don't socialise, there's no social structure around this. It's the equivalent of the group of old men, the group of alcoholics at the bar, you know, and I'm using a cliche, but the group of old alcoholics at the bar sort of sitting day after day, drinking their beers, just chatting, absolute rubbish, but they do it and it's a social thing and it's their life. That's the equivalent of someone, rather than that happening, going home and drinking a bottle of vodka on your own. And I think gambling, as drinking has done, has gone from, from one sort of state of being, a sort of subculture uh, full of people, full of, uh, full of bettors, full of gamblers in the, in the bookmakers, to a very much a solitary occupation where people exercise their addiction and, and all, they have all the problems associated with it, but in a very sort of solitary way. So, like I say, I think um, John McCreary was to betting um, what someone like Bernard Manning is to comedy. He was very much the last of the old school. And I think the loss of him would be mourned by not just the, the racing world, but people very much of an old school opinion. And I think it is a sort of death knell for that older form of horse racing, that sort of traditional form of betting. Um, and unfortunately now in a modern era where betting has become more online, more digital, more solitary, I think, don't think we'll ever see the likes of John McCreary again. So whilst I wasn't a fan, um, you know, I, I can't help but respect what the guy did for the sport. Um, and, you know, obviously wishing condolences to sort of his friends and family. But 
you know, he's, he was certainly a character and I don't think we'll ever see the likes of that again. So let me know your thoughts anyway. But um, yeah, to John anyway, um, rest in peace, mate. Uh, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.